So this is snapbacks and flat caps. Uh, we're in the studio for the first time in. When's the last time we came in here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. When's yeah. the last time we came in here? Do you know? Before Christ. <laughs> <laughs> um, literally. Uh, I, I can't. Then, maybe. Yeah, I think it was definitely um, done after the birthday, really. Yeah. After my birthday, but really. Yeah. So uh, we're back and we're doing it Insta Live now. So if you are. Following us on Insta Live, uh, following us on Instagram. So it's your host Rob, Trizzy, Trizzy. We're doing it off my Instagram. So yes. we are having people comment on here. So it might be a bit mad because we're going to be dipping into dipping in and out of different of topics comments. and seeing what's going on. I'll be the, uh, the comment holder. Yeah, the comment, <laughs> you're the comment holder. But audio, of course, will be available on SoundCloud. We're also going to put the live on Instagram. No, not Instagram. Sorry, on YouTube. Yeah. So make sure you follow the page, Snapbacks and Flat Caps Podcast. It's, I think Castle Black, that's the last time we did one. And we weren't even in here for that, we were in the other room. Yeah, yeah. But that was, that was a good one though. Yeah. That was... Do you still follow him? You see, so, so yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. Listen, listen he's very consistent with what he does. I mean, I've got to respect, um, got to respect what he does as well. Well, not respect, but probably he's a proper decent human being as well. So, yeah. You know, he's, he's a character, man, for sure. Yeah, he is. Ah, okay, yeah. Yeah, is it? Well, shouts out to Danos, I see you there. Is this part now? <laughs> well, you guys have been doing the lives as well. You got doing the music off. Yeah, bro. To, to, to be to be honest with you, the reason why we've been uh, doing it as well, one because we didn't think things outside was gonna literally pop off like that. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? But at the same token, everybody's taking in so much of what is happening outside as well that it's been it's been a bit of refreshing to have like a little. A little break from too much of the heat and the hate and the frustrations and stuff like that. So, you know, we do. Kind of and the, the layout's like really good. Like, I've seen it, I've, I've jumped in when we did the Mary J. Blige one. But yeah. who's the Mary J. Blige versus. Uh, we had Mary J. Blige versus uh, Faith Evans. Who won? Uh, yeah, Mary J. She's the queen. But you know what it is? The way we actually have set out the rounds, mm. it's. It gives it a competition no matter how big somebody else's catalogue is compared because Mary J. Blige had nine albums compared to Faith's probably one, two or three. Mm. And then plus, Mary J.'s, every song that was on her um, album was, they were hits. Mm. So we got like something in one of the rounds named what was the best non-released song. Okay. And that was difficult doing Mary J. Yeah. That was very difficult. Because all of the top tunes that everybody does know and you want to crowds to react, she's released them. Yeah, she sings with, like, she's had a lot of pain, man. Her life sounds stressful. Didn't she get out of Birdman at one time? Bro, I said, listen, I don't know how stressful that life could be if you got out of Birdman. I mean, I, I just... Well, that's it. I never... I never, tra- uh, I never trust people who have tattoos on their face. Mm. That's mm. my wall. I think it's a fair wall. <laughs> People put tattoos on their face and like tattoos on their face. And Birdman's got one of his head. He's got a big old star, but you see, when you've been getting money since the age of like 16, 17, when did he say he had like multi million uh, contract or something? Not multi million, but he had like a million dollar contract that was there for him to be able to do his um, situation. He's um, he's the original uh, black owned business, you know? yeah. Him, Master and G. Mega. And, uh, yeah, Mega. Mega from So Solid. from So Solid, yeah. Yeah, so I think Master P and, and Little Romeo, oh man, they're, they're pioneers when you talk about black businesses and what they want to do. And even, you seen the interview with Black Breakfast Club? Yes, on, yes. Just how he spoke about um, coming out, what did he say? He says something about Lonzo, come along outside the hood and realise that you can't put everybody on. No. And that kind of thing. Yeah. And, uh, is there, I don't know, do, do you... Could you name like five black businesses off the top of your head, UK businesses? Um, well, you see, what I couldn't name off the top of my head, and this, and this goes to show that, one, is not really common knowledge, mm. and two, I need to go for my personal mm. self and take responsibilities to make sure I'm searching for that. A lot of because, yeah, yeah. because there is a lot of black businesses, yeah. but it's just that whether they get the attention, and are we actually verbally saying to each other, Check this out, or are we still messing around with high end brands that really don't really know who we I think the important thing is, as well, is not to get handouts, you need to support support the business. Of course, I think a lot of, of a, a big problem is that, if, like, if you've got a business 
really have, the best way for me to support it is buy the product or whatever it is you're selling. Of course, like, yeah. It's not, oh, like, hook me up because I'm your boy. But I think a lot of people do that, and that's part of the reason why it's difficult to strive, right, for it. Mm-hmm. But then also, you think about smaller businesses, they're a lot more expensive to run. So products might be more expensive, so people don't want to spend the extra money. But it's hard to keep it, because you heard about Black Wall Street. There's yes. like Black Wall Street, yes, and yes, yes. that was all in house. And I don't think, is there any way in London where you can go, well, London, we're, we're based in off London. Mm-hmm. I know it's a big thing in America, certain states like Atlanta and whatnot. But there's not many places you can go to of areas of, in London where the majority of things, the, mo- the majority of the businesses there are black owned. Like if you're talking South or West London, yeah, whole strip, Asian or Indian. Or yeah, it's, 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 owned, yeah right? it's more ethnically diverse. I mean, you could you could. Because Brixton like, used to be like that. Brixton's like that, but that's, get, that's getting gentrified. Yeah, but how long? But this is the thing with that with Brixton. I feel like people uh, have been in Brixton for. Years and how many years ago did they get regenerified? A couple of years, five yeah, years, yeah, six yeah. years. So my thing is, what's happened prior to those five years of the regenerification? Because well, I think that a big topic is there and Peckham, a few other areas, is yeah. that it's oh people are coming in, they're regenerifying, they're thinking we've got all these different sorts of people there. But initially, mm. there were Caribbeans, there were Africans, yeah, like, like that's where they were, like a high population well, of them. You know, you know what the what what's been happening because I've been paying attention to a lot of this. Uh, property valuation and real estate gurus that you were talking and um, they got a guy named Brother Polite he's very pro um, pro black and everything like that he's not, don't discriminate against him he's not like so strong and wrong. but um, he, he discusses of um, since when the riots have, have been happening and the looting started happening in America and stuff he put a very good point across which is what normally happens to when everybody's regenerating these, these, these places which is if you've got like uh, a more ethnic diverse community, mm. normally what starts to happen is if people are, um, say, destroying the area, you've got like drugs or you've got crime going in there or something, or it's just deemed as a bad area, mm. that means that the property value yeah, around it down. will go down. Yeah, of course. So that means anybody with, with some capital. Will come and be able to buy that, but the people that within there instead of, of them, hood, man. yeah, exactly, that, exactly. Know. Instead of if, instead of the people that actually live there and buying that area and being invested in it when it is low and stuff like that, mm-hmm. and making it raising its standards with trading within each other and stuff like that, it it is you know you get a lot of warfare that's in there. It's like I don't know, you got this estate against that estate, and plus don't forget some of it's still owned by the council. So when they're not buying it back, valuation's gone down. Big money can come in. As soon as there's big money to come in, that means the the valuation starts increasing and everything like that. They start throwing in, I don't know, supermarkets. Um, just found where I am. You could see with certain places, it's like they had like a little village, and yeah. then the strip started building up bit by bit. Mm-hmm. You start seeing a subway. You notice how you always see like a Tesco's or a Sainsbury's. They're, they're little ones. Yeah, yeah. Tesco's Express and Sainsbury's. Exactly. Like and then you start seeing sandwich shops come up and everything yeah. like that. So. And then it boosts up, and then the unfortunate thing is, the people that's been living there all their life, they can't afford to buy it. Well, this is Anne, I'm glad you said that. So do you think that, so if we're talking about, let's say, for example, you and me both lived in Brixton, for example, and this is the 50s. Yeah. So now, you can imagine how cheap houses were in the 50s compared to now. Yeah. A completely different ball game. It was still expensive for the time. Yeah. But obviously. wouldn't you agree that if, round about those times, if we were about more home ownership and... Mm. Uh, we would have been able to make more of an impact in our community. Yeah. Because uh, even now, like some people, there's plenty of people who are from, say, South London or North London or whatever, and when they get their money, mm-hmm. they'll go out to Essex or Purley or um, Kingston, like further out places, which are probably more value for their money, yeah. but also very affluent areas. They're not going to stay where they are. No. So. My, the point I'm trying to make is that I feel like home ownership should be more important in these sorts of areas because that's how you make an impact. Of course, of course, of course. Because yeah. otherwise, you're not gonna. No. It's going to be a lot different. It's going to be a lot more difficult for that for external money to get you out mm-hmm. if you own your house. If your cousin who lives, if you're in Brixton and they live in Shrewsbury, your cousin owns his house and your yeah. your mates. Dad owns his house or whatever, right? Well, I, I, I personally got my own uh, close friend to me. Mm. His parents are where he's grown up. They own their house. Yeah. 
and now they're in they're in the mills because of the bus code where, where they are and everything like that, mm-hmm. how valuable it is. My granddad came from around about the same area mm-hmm. and um, my uncle who recently just passed Rusty so his house was valued over a million pounds because mm-hmm. of the area it is. Now as you were saying back in the day, to get the when the um, the council was smart at the time, one of my other uncles got an option to get a buyout. Of the now, council because, house. Yeah, of, of the of because no, the council come to offer him a chunk load of money for his house. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, at the time. So obviously he's seeing the money and he's just like, yeah, cool, I can take this and he's going to move out. So I'm beginning to think this is like a pendulum situation because my grandparents and them, like, when they were, when they were um, younger and stuff like that, they was in the heart of the city, you know what I'm saying? But then everybody wanted to move to the suburbs. Yeah. Now it's switching around because all businesses concentrate in the city. That's right. So everything needs to be built up there. So people are trying to own property while still surviving in the suburbs. And you see the government forcing out um, uh, a lot of people that's in, say, lower income housing out now of yes, the city. By over um, exactly. like increasing the. So rent. somebody like my uncle, he didn't do himself no favours over 20 mm-hmm. something years ago. Because he took the buyout, he would have been in that 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 little that pot of gold now, where his house would have been valued over a million. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Because he only lived around the corner from where well, this, 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 this is the thing as well. Do you think uh, some people have issues with? Um, no. Let me put it like this. Do you think some people have a have, don't want to buy the time with certain things? Do you think people just want the quick? Uh, only think short term. That's the yeah, I think this this get rich quick um, scheme that everybody's had in there, in, or whatever influences and everybody has packaged up, we need to throw that in the bin. To be honest, because I've been suckered in by it from the times of when we was younger. Everybody's always had the there's been pyramid schemes. There's been lower, we, we local lotteries. We have there's, to there's get all someone that, that in goes about in. the pyramid schemes. We have to, man. Do you know that, I'm gonna love that someone coming in and be like, hey, bro. Do you want to make some money? Yeah, do you like it money? doesn't work. It do, you, doesn't. It, do you like money and uh, I've got business opportunities? <laughs> I can't tell you anything about it. What it is? Just come to this meeting a clean and I'll show you what happened. They'll explain it better. Exactly. It's, listen, I've been worked into going into one of them, and I'm like, this is this rubbish. Bro, 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 you know what it is? It's, it's young minds, and to be brutally like so honest, this nation. generation honestly has got so much potential. This is why we're, we're going to touch on. And obviously the protests and stuff. There's so much energy from this generation mm. to get things moving and done. Like nobody was been talking about ownership more than this generation at the moment. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Not at this current moment, kind of thing. So it's um, one of those things where we need to like understand that yes, we're more educated now. Mm. Yes, we're learning certain things. Us ourselves have a, have a responsibility to show the mistakes to let the um, people that's coming up before us listen. I've got the shortcut for you for you to understand. Like there is no real shortcut, but it just has to be a thing of where like you know you have to take the precautions. This I will save you time. Like um, when we had uh, what's his name Levi, mm. yeah, and he was talking about things that he was doing and whatever. whatever. That was a very interesting conversation because yeah, sure. he gave us uh, a nice compact. Um, like hour full of what he didn't do and it was better him change the same thing with Ruben as well you know what I'm saying they were just doing this and they had to manage that and they got gems to throw all over us now so now we can actually pick up the place quick we're moving at a fast pace regardless so I, I, I do think uh, people need to start doing not just reading the books just to say like oh I just read some books and some do you think there's a level of entitlement for people now as well do you think that? Yeah, but we're, 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 we're un, I, I do see a lot of people untraining that thought. Mm. Like, whereas before they would say to themselves, okay, cool, this is what you have to do. I think everybody's understanding the work ethic has to be levels. You can have all the talent in the world, but the work ethic has to be oh, levels. So even talent, if you're coming... You don't even have to be talented for certain things. No, 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 you no. You just no, have no, to have... No. Let's say if you're an artist, you don't have to be talented. They can no. all tune the hell out of your voice. So this is about your brand your numbers, your swag, yeah. if how catchy your hooks are, all of that. Because yeah. I've heard some shit, bruv. Of course. Listen, I'm going to play you something after this. Of course. And it's just so bad. But then who do you blame? The consumers or... Well, or I blame him. I blame him because he's trying to do that, he's trying to do something else, he's trying to do something else, and I'm just a bit like... You're... 
You know, certain people have star quality and it's yeah. flawless. Yeah. Yeah, and they just they can just do it and it's not even a thing. Mm. Yeah, he don't have that. Okay. So, but I feel like he's forcing it. Yeah. Like proper forcing it. You know, like how sometimes you have those girls who are like YouTubers and they're like, "Hi guys, yeah, I know everyone's been talking to me yeah, about yeah, this." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, it doesn't really and you're not, that. you're not like, no one's. I'm not discrediting work, but I'm just saying that. I don't know who's feeding, feeding you these dreams. You know what I heard someone say before? Mm. I, I won't quote any people on this, but I heard someone say to an, an artist that he's not good, he should give up and go and get a job in marketing. That is just cold-blooded. It wasn't me. It was it's cold-blooded, but, it, 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 it's cold yeah. blooded, but it's, Sometimes you it's hear reality. That. But you do need to hear that. The more, the more you can learn from your mistakes, at least try the thing first. Though. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what you've got to give. Yeah, yeah. Like after like whatever, okay cool, it doesn't get the reception that you want, mm. but there's a new skill that he's, you know what I mean, he, he's, sure. he yeah. doesn't understand he's got a talent for. So even though somebody's going to try and disrespect him and do that, you could put him in, 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 in anywhere yeah. and he's going to figure out to make the best of what he's been given. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So there's people that are talented like that, but as you said, with the entitlement, I think we've all passed that stage of just being, because everything's blended now. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Information is given out to us at a rapid rate where you can't just say, oh, this person's been privileged, that's because they can get more and stuff. But systematically, when you go deeper with it, because like we said, the temperature outside is very hot. Mm -hmm. It's very hot right now. But there's so much potential from this generation right now mm -hmm. that can get things done that you couldn't get done in the 50s and the 60s. Mm -hmm. Well, they're still marching in the 50s and the 60s. We're still marching today, but there's a difference now because we've got the power of the technology. Look how many people have been losing their jobs from doing stupidness. Yeah, that's and that's the key, that's the power now. Because it's like everybody can see you. So you can't you can't you can't just be like, oh, um, this person's infiltrated this gang um, and these protesters are like this. No, because everyone's got their phones up. Show me what I did that was law breaking. What I did like about watching some of the protests and whatnot is that the mix of people in there. The mix and of people, yeah. people, the mix of races, ages. We're talking about Black Lives Matter, right? Yeah, we're talking about Black Lives Matter. But at the moment, I noticed that I feel like this. The way, why this has been so impactful is the fact is the people who who are oblivious to racism or systematic systematic racism, mm -hmm. they've had to, to force to confront it. To confront it, and it is a shock for them. Of Do course. you know what I mean? And you got to think there's certain, but then again, there's people who are like in our our age bracket and younger. Their, their whole circle is mixed, like it's mixed in the sense of diversity, so they're more aware. Yeah. And I feel like if you just go back a little bit further, they weren't mixed as well, so they're aware of some sort of problems. Obviously, they don't face them in the same way, yeah. and they can't identify them because it may not have happened to them, but they will respect it in a way because they'll look at the situation like, say you've got a white person, and mm. they've got uh, like a black friend, an Asian friend, or whatever, and they're with them, and they stop them in the car, and they treat them, and the police treat a black and Asian guy a certain way and the white person's like wow that's never yeah. happens to me when I get pulled over yeah. if I get pulled over yeah. so they can see it first hand and that being their friend yeah. they'd be like oh like shit this is mad this is what happened to everyone so now they'll associate with randoms of shit that could be my friend yeah. who gets treated like that and so forth and so forth, so forth which is great yeah. but I think some people who are in denial about it doesn't exist in certain sort of ways of course it exists that's because they don't like getting questioned on their own integrity because you see, you've got to understand, there's a lot of people, especially when you're dealing with, elder, with the elder generation, yeah, but they're, they're, they're fixated in right. their way mm. to a point where they're having to unlearn what, they, what they've known to learn yeah. something new, yeah. do you get what I'm saying? And when you're dealing with, uh, I put it, if you go to talking about dealing with soldiers and army vets and stuff like that, mm. the younger the mind they catch, Mm. The bigger the ideology they can force into them, the more they feel patriotic, they feel a part of the system, they do, they, do you know what I'm saying? They've got this big sense of belief. Mm. What they're doing is, is you know, and we've, like I said, I respect all of the people that defend us um, and everything like that. That's why we can sit here comfortable, because if they're not doing what they're doing, then it is what it is. Would you ever join the army or the navy or anything like that? You won't catch me again. I remember, I, I remember um, when I come out of uh, college, and they, they were sending a bombardment and all that. Like, I got good grades and stuff like that, and they were looking for engineers. But one, I'm not about being on no ship like that, out to sea. I'm, I like stable ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like stable ground. And two, 
Um, to be to, to to be brutally honest, bro, I just don't believe in the reasoning behind it, right? Yeah, yeah like you know, what I'm saying that's like, like I can understand being a soldier of purpose, mm. but that's not for that's not my contribution. I know. I feel like you know when you see it in the movies of war, there's like one side against another, mm. and how I've seen war over the years in different countries, Iraq and 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 the rest of it, is this seems like they're not actually fighting a proper opposition. Do you know what I mean? No, like, no. I just feel like they're, they're going to yeah. give democracy to a thing. They're not... It's not like playing football, where one side's against another side. Yeah. Because that's how I always imagine war to be. But when yeah. you look at it, it's not that at all. So no, I'm like, no, no. who are you actually fighting, really? I mean, if people want to do that, that's up to them. It's just not for me. And to be honest with you, I can't really... I'm not going to, you know, send myself to potentially die. No, for like no, for no, white man's war. No, 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 no. 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 Get get woke, son. Get, 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 get woke, son. Get woke, son. Get woke, son. Let them woke you. But it, 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 it goes back to that, and I think that's, that is what everybody was... Everybody from the EDL and all of that behaviour that they were doing there, like, they're just missing the point. Like, when they was trying to involve, like, the... the provoke the, the, the football hooligans to come down, mm. these men have been stuck in their house since football season's finished. Oh, there's something for a punch. Well, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure, a lot of them are working class, mm. yeah, and a Saturday is everything for them. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You get to go, you chill out, that's their, that's their thing. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? And you got pent up wolves like that, because I don't agree with none of, nothing what they were talking about, but you had people that was in between that were saying, like, listen, I've got both friends from both sides, and I don't like the division. Mm. This when Tommy Roberts has said something has come out now because it's it's, do, it's making a split. He's like what did he say? No, when he came there, he started because he's making a thing of where like oh, as if Black Lives thing. Matter mm. is attacking English heritage, but what they're doing is that is letting people understand we don't need to celebrate someone who's built certain things off the blood and backs. Of people that, that, that are related to us. Yeah, of course. Ancestral wise. Nobody's saying that because we can't erase history. It's there. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? It, it's there. But I'll be damned if I'm going to be actually celebrating an institution that is very prideful of whooping somebody in my lineage. And the colonization. Do really you know, know what I'm saying? And don't get it confused, bro. Like I said before, nobody asked to be here, you know? Mm. This is when, when they keep on saying, go back home, go back home. You know when they start doing that thing in America? Mm. But you lot wasn't native to that land neither. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? So all of this, in, like, if you go back to being entitled and, and people turning around and saying, oh, yeah, we should um, go back home, but go back to Africa. What, where do you come from? I bet you, you don't know. Mm. You really just don't know. So it's, it's, it's like, I think people say things to provoke the other team, they, they want to do the monkey chance, they want to do all that. That's not going to budge this generation. That's only going to end up with you getting hurt. Mm-hmm. It's not the 60s no more. It's not no petrol bombs or throw it from yeah. across the street. Man will actually do you something. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because you saw how it was going. Now, I see a lot of people that was going on, where is the man then? All this back, like you're quick to take each other's life. Why don't we be quick to defend each other's life now? Mm. We've done that. We've done that. And even when them men are doing... I just personally think everybody's got their own positions. Yeah. Some are brains, like, like um, a caller. Mm. And I understand why we can't... For me, he's definitely a black leader in educating us, especially with the history. Because I, anytime I listen to any of these talks... It's smart, right? Bro, it's, it's, smart, like, bro. it's not even a just... A, I feel a sense of I know where I'm coming from. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, like, it's, you know, when he's talking about um, black people being in London in the Victorian times, not being slaves, being merchants, yeah. traders. Do you get what I'm saying? These people, you couldn't talk wrong to these people. They could be a backhand in your face. You can't even go tell the police about these men because these men are coming from real royalty. They're coming a lot of that from, you know what I'm saying? A lot of that as well comes from uni. And this is what I'm saying to you. There's a, they've, for years and years and years, for the use of, like, the government and the media and other platforms have tried to push things to divide, to mm. divide uh, race and culture and everything, even if you think about what they're doing with the whole, oh, fear-mongering old Muslims, for example, yeah. right? So they've been doing that for years and years and years to bring a sense of divide instead of unity, because they know exactly. once you get the unity going, people are, even the unity and um, this Black Lives Matter kind of protest, the unity you're getting from there, exactly. it's, different. it's crazy. 
It's there's the, more of us than there are of them. And of course, they forget of that. course, of course. But they, they, they're like, it, it goes to the brains and the brawn situation because you need to know how to manipulate somebody. You know, like you've got somebody that's a, a it's strategy. Mm. Do you get know what I'm saying? You've got like a big, you've got somebody that, like, that's absolutely huge. I don't know, six foot five, pure muscle, looking like Dwayne Johnson or something mm. like that. Do you know what I'm saying? The rock. He's coming at you. You've got a fort to defend and you don't want him to come and steal your riches. Now, you have to outsmart him. Mm-hmm. So you have to be putting things in position where you can actually build your numbers mm-hmm. to actually see this is an evil force that's coming and it's mm-hmm. a very powerful force. And if you don't protect me right now, mm-hmm. your life might be affected by this. Once you start drumming into people's um, psyche like that, just like what Tommy Robinson did, he come up with the whole conversation about oh, people are just taking statues, then Farage jumped on his thing. And what black people need to understand as well, and just ethnic people, because Black Lives Matter is not just a black thing, it's, a, it's, it's against racist thing, mm. yeah? For my, my, my personal view of it. What they need to understand is these men are organised. Don't yeah. ever get this thing confused. It's just like when somebody said, like, oh yeah, I'm going to battle the devil or something like that. People are going to be saying, like, listen, he's been doing this mischief thing for a very long time. You've been living on this planet for a short period of time. Mm. It's the same thing with this Black, black Lives Matter. It's going to be very easy for them to infiltrate and destroy us if we don't stay on our game. Mm. These men have got politicians, they've got lawyers, they've got, peop- they've got professional people in jobs that won't be vocal, but will be able to go and get the soldiers out of jail to make sure they go and intimidate. The intimidating thing they tried this time, it flopped horribly. Mm. Horribly. You get me? Shouts out to the brothers that were looking man down. I don't promote the violence, but it seems like every time we're marching all the time, man ain't listening. So if you come and you step into this area, man are going to defend himself. And you're not going to like the people we got on the front line defending themselves. Did you see the thing uh, about the Americans, the the freedom fighters? Yeah, they got their their rifles. What's that old school Black Panther mentality? Bro, listen, and you see how they dismantled the Black Panthers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's, it's it's all playing in a system. Listen, the system, people always complain and say, nah, the system's not... Um, set everybody gets equal right whatever bro we already know from the time you hit the classroom bro you're not learning history that you have on your black side or your asian side I mean, they're not doing that because this is this country's history they want to make the, um, the empire seem great yeah. i get all of that mm. i get all of that but we pass all of that now yeah ironically with uh, a caller he was saying that one of the reasons he knows so much he went into a pan-african school exactly to know his real history and, the, and this is the thing as well by Given them the kind of empire's history and dehumanizing our own history, it just yeah. makes you feel worthless as well. They want to drum that into you of like, of you're, you're nothing. You're ne- you know, sometimes you see things of uh, people in situations with family or even in films and they tell them, oh, you're nothing. You're never going to be anything. Of course, yeah. Now, usually that drives the person on and all that, but some people don't react like that. No. Some people end up self hating. Mm. And then I was having this discussion yesterday actually about the fact is if you've got that kind of environment at home where someone's telling you you can't do anything and you're not and you're worthless and then you go out into the road and then you've got people around you saying they're your family and it's us for unity that's how a gang's formed. Of course, do you know what I mean? So I'm not I'm not um, I'm not uh, glorifying gang culture, but I understand why people are in these situations of course. because they feel comfortable, they feel safe, and they're not getting it at home. No. And that's the whole, and this is the problem, it's, it's great, I don't know about anyone else personally, but for me personally, um, I've never been told I can't do it, in, in fact it's the opposite, constantly me, my sisters, I think we've always been told, listen, you can, you can do anything, why can't, if he does it, why can't you do it, like, it's and never, how important is that? yeah, it's never even thought that we couldn't do something, no. even if you fail it, okay, well you tried that, and it didn't work, that's fine, but at least you tried it, you shouldn't be one of these people who are deflated and negative thinking they can't, because I know people like that, of course. who think, who have been told constantly that they're no, living them in their yeah, they're no good. You might, wh- why are you bothering? You think you're good enough to do that? And all that kind of back. Ironically, a lot of the people who are in, in the celebrity eye have, were treated like that. I used to hear interview, watch interviews where people are saying, oh, well, you used to tell me I never amount to anything. They just said I would end up in jail or, in, or dead or mm. they never encouraged me. They never showed love. Now they're successes. But mm. some people can't process that like that. Some mm. people go the other way and that's the problem. I think a lot of it starts at home as well, but it's... Yeah, no, it does, it does. It's Hold on, I'm going to do, I might have to switch on the light to get the questions here or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, so let's have the questions. Let's try and move what's, what's going on, people? We, we still got other people there. You like ain't answering no questions. What's going on? Yeah, yeah, we're getting political. <laughs> but we're getting, we're getting political. It, it, when it touches home, it touches home. 
Yeah, so definitely touch his home. We're going to be putting this up on YouTube as well, so we're going to download it and plant it up because we haven't done one like this in the room. No, for we're, doing a while. Our, we're doing our little tests. But it's got a bit mad here. It's got a bit intense, 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 man. It's got intense. You know what he's done on mine? I'm here with Rob. Let's get, let's get it on. What's happening? Let's go. We got it all. Live, right snaps, live. So we're just, we're just testing things out. Anyway. You got any comments on the other one? What was the other one? Uh, the other one is just a bunch of hellos. But we're going to get it. We're going to get it. Yeah, yeah, hello well, hello and, and, and love and peace, man. And, uh, you know, be safe. You know, I will say actually at the moment what's going on. Obviously, mm-hmm. uh, man beat COVID nineteen. I mean, yeah. I haven't had COVID nineteen, but man's beat it. I said the other day, I can't. Um, I'm too fast for it to catch when I'm yeah. running my my twenty three minute five k runs. Yeah, ducking COVID <laughs> like this, just <laughs> moving, <laughs> moving around, yeah, ducking it, running it. But you know what? It's just be. I think now it's just kind of easing out. If there's a second peak, there's a second peak yeah. Fuck it, like, I was explaining to this someone else and I was... Just, themselves and they're just not... Nah, but to be honest with you, I was saying to people, like, you know what I don't like, mm. which I will touch on, is the protesting about how they're saying, oh, I guess Corona is done then, people aren't thinking... Listen, if you're going to... Look, all I'm saying is, yeah, there's two ways of doing things. There's the people who are going to the beach, hundreds of people, yeah, yeah and ironically, they're the same people saying... Don't go to the protest. Why is everyone not two meters apart? Yeah. But listen here, Karen. If you're going down the beach Karen's getting it, Karen's with the kids, and you know because it's hot weather, you can't say anything to me about going to a protest. No. Because no, no. if I'm going to get it, I'd rather get it in a for an a environment course. like that for a cause, not for because a I wanted to go and get a suntan. Yeah, so that's if you look at anything like that, you'll just see comments. Oh, it's a COVID. Oh, we're standing whatever. And I'm just like, you know what? After, I think after like a, a while when this was going up, I had to come off Instagram for a few days. I just deleted it because mm. it's too much and just the toxicity of people. And you really realise how how ignorant people are. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. crazy. Of course, but it, this, is, this is what I'm saying. This is why it's easy. You could you can manipulate somebody's brain just to turn around and then start talking a whole heap of crap. I'll go back to the Tommy Robinson again. He's talking about defending statues. Nigel Farage couldn't even answer Piers um, Morgan on um, this morning's TV, probably, when they just gave him the question. All right, cool. You got Hitler, that's, his statue got removed from Germany because of the atrocities yeah, of what he was doing. Well, yeah. so. so what's wrong with them not taking a thing? Oh, I think we should do it in a diplomatic way, and that's right. He said, all right, cool. But you already know the history of this, guys. People have said thousands of petitions already. And it hasn't been done. And now we write it, like the people have had enough. I think people forget that the government is there to serve yeah, the yeah. people. Do you understand what I'm saying? The power gets all to everybody's head and under the illusion. And then there's one set of people that have been unfairly treated, who have been dragged across the ocean, and then when they get here, help build up the, situ- um, the country and stuff like that. And, and then like shit. Even when you talk about like the NHS and the current situation with the NHS. Um, you know, a lot of people who work in the NHF are ethnic minorities, right? Mm. And I feel like they're not getting the same representation. I don't know, I just, you know, sometimes you... People, this is what we mean, like, the systematic way. way. They're never going to push someone forward the same way they're going to push forward Sally with the blonde hair and blue eyes, you know? Yeah. And that's part of the problem. Like, this Madeleine McCann thing, that came up again. Listen, Bro, let me listen. tell you, look, are we, you know how long ago we spoke about this Madeleine McCann thing? Me and Dan were on the podcast talking about this. Yeah. That was like 2017. So you saw a couple of years ago, and now they're bringing it back up. I just... Yeah. You see what I'm saying? It and to be honest with you, make no sense. if her parents weren't who they were, professional people, barristers, doctors, and whatever, which they've made a whole bunch of money from as yeah. well, from this, by doing books and whatever else they've been doing, mm. I just... That just... The whole thing just well with, with, disturbs me. With, with, the, with, the, with the Madeleine thing, um, when people ask that question, oh, how come she always just seems to pop up on most the, the, the... What I don't understand is the popularity of, of the Madeleine and the cat yeah, situations. Yeah, yeah. What I can say is, though, when you've got... Um, when you've got... The, it, it, it's going to be... The search thing is going to be privately funded. Yeah? So that will always get... What I don't understand is, it's been 13 years. Do you know how many other children have disappeared? Mm. But this keeps on going. Mm-hmm. They're not going to find nothing. Do you yeah, know what I'm saying? Sure. They, got they, found a, they found a, a person that was already in jail. That just sounds like the full guy. Yeah, and yeah. there's something else going on out here. I don't yeah. need to see my glance face anymore. Nothing. But I'm sensitive to the situation because it's the child. 
But yeah. then you wouldn't. I bet you any money, bro. Like if that was any of us, nah, nah, yeah. Nah, nah, wait, bro. And they start sitting looking at what? the facts. They'll be like, why was that child? Neglected in that house on holiday. Listen, so I'm, I'm, I'm not a kidnapper or a criminal in any way. There were three kids there, from my understanding. Why are you gonna take one? If I'm a kidnapper, I'm trying to double my money. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I'm trying to take everyone, Bro. get the ransom money. Bro. Why are you gonna take that it, one? It, it, it's scary when when people are, are, are I, trying to overshadow something else with something else. Like, it, like, and they're playing on things like with the children. And uh, talking about which, which is important about the economy and stuff, like right about now. Oh, but you talk about, about the free school rules, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So they reversed got... that now. Marshall Rashford, Mar- Marcus Rashford saved the day on that. Yeah. Well, he should, bro. Okay, now that's somebody. That's an example. Yeah. Now that's somebody who should be plastering all over the place 100%. and be talking about a lot of the time because he's somebody that's lived it and he's expressing the importance of what will happen mm. if them families don't have support like that. Mm. Not everybody's a talented as as, Ra- as Rashford. Do you get what I'm saying? And in a way, he's actually been, he's beneficial to the whole of England, even him being as good as he is. And think because the general he's a young guy, man. He's, he's, hard to he's, listen, he's, a, he's a young leader, and I think man, they need to be um, respectful. And I think they, they, I think they're gonna go extra hard for him because they don't, because they got received so the press received so much criticism about how they treat Raheem Sterling. Yeah. Paul, this is another thing: Raheem Sterling, Paul Pogba, Meghan Markle. They've got bad attitudes. They're mm. like this. They're like that. What's the common with all of them? Do you know what I mean? And just like that's how obvious it is, but people don't see it like that. Like even I spoke to someone briefly about the Meghan Markle. Thing. Oh, I don't like it. She's taking him to America. When that's not your man. Yeah, that I'm like, why are you? Why are you so? That's concerned? that's not. No, your also man. they portray it like he's got no mouth. Like you don't talk. Like right. they were a married couple. Before to be in a married couple, they it were goes, a couple. It goes back to that that systematic. Under the underlying racism, they say in front because it's like it's never been a problem when anybody else came there. Mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's never been a problem. And then when it was a problem, this person wasn't conforming to the royal way, which was Diana, which is Harry's mum. And do you think this prayer is actually going to be turning around? I'm calling Harry a prayer. <laughs> like, do you really think he's he has time? Harry's he's Mandem. Harry's Mandem. Harry's Mandem. <laughs> do you think he's really got time to be? Going through the stress of hearing everything on every whisper and secret under the the, 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 the carpet about um, if his dad or his grandparents had something hey, to do with his mother. But listen, at the end of the day, the man lost his mum. He's been living with that trauma all his life. Mm. There is no way on God's green earth is he going to allow the woman that he loves to pieces to go through what his mum went through yeah, sure. and his child to be going through the same thing he went through. It's a different thing when you get the kids afterwards. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, he's willing to die. And if that means he has to dig it, bro, we're not living in a medieval time. Oh, you're, you, you have to put your life and the subject for the people. No, no one's coming on horseback anymore to come and do nothing. So when they get out of the fire, even when they get out of the fire, bro, they still wanted to chase them to Canada to talk nonsense. They're not even taking the taxpayers' money no more. They, they believe they're... Yeah, they're somehow they had a problem with and that And they as still well. had a problem with that. Yeah, that's fucked up, bro. I don't know, but all I know is like, I can't have someone tell me about how to leave my life. My own little family, my wife, and my kid. I'm not entertaining that. I'm like, look here, granny, you need to chill the fuck out. Yeah, well, it just, what I mean? it just, has, to, it just has to be that. And then his stepdad, because I'm sorry, but he don't look like any... That William looks exactly like him. Yeah. Look, all, if that was me, I'd be getting a pretend test. That's <laughs> all I'm saying. You know, sometimes you see something, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I've got this friend, and his kids look exactly like him. They're literally yeah. clones of him, girl and boy. Mm. And I'm like, he's never going to have to get a pretending test there, boy. <laughs> because they look, they look more they like him than he does. You know what I mean? They probably got, um, they probably got all, all of that set up and, and known already. Right? There's no way you can keep those, those kind of secrets. But, I'd, yeah, I'd, I don't know. I mean, right about now, I think the world, we're in a bad sp- a position with this pandemic. But like I said, I'm... I'm 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 more I'm with the God idea. I I, I like the like to put my thoughts and everything like it's a divine plan that's yeah, yeah yeah in motion and stuff. Well, and even if that thing was man made, yeah, look that five G, bro, five G, five G, five G, son. It's caused people to pay attention more. Yeah, yeah. And actually tackle problems that we've had for decades, from I know. Nothing is happening which is new. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, for sure. We always knew the hospitals were um, understaffed, under pressure. Yeah, for sure. Funding. And I know, and this is the thing, and that's what I'm glad you brought up because they are like, clapped for the NHS, which is great, but they're still not giving them the they more still money. They're giving the money. 
That's what I really that was really pisses me off because if I was in that situation, and I always say like I'm a key worker, I don't work for the NHS, so I'm also a key worker, but I still think the NHS are the proper official key workers who deserve all the support. Yeah. And everyone wants to give them the claps and the pats on the back, but they don't want to give them no money. And that's exactly like a corporate thing. They want to encourage you and say, yeah, you're great, you're fantastic. And then yeah, when it exactly. comes to talking about the dough, or oh, I don't know if we can do that, they should really reach into their bloody pockets and, then and give them, exactly. inject money into that. And not like, oh, it, over the next five years we want to inject, because you've got the money. Don't lie to me, bro. If you're telling me you can't put a quick mill in an NHS for staffing or whatever it is, you know what I mean? Or just new equipment, something. They always come with these plans to say, oh yeah, we want to inject 15 million into the NHS over the next 10 years. Bro, you're stressing me out. Just bro, think about that. bro, I'm telling you. You know sometimes you hear someone's life and you're like, it just gives me anxiety just, just listening to it. So yeah. God knows what it must be for them. Yeah, it's exactly. crazy, man. Exactly. It, it, it gets crazy, but I just, I just feel like... Voice. Virus or no virus, we've got to tackle um, everything that's been going on for years. This ain't nothing new. Yeah. Yeah, it's nothing new. Well, I, see, I, I, see, I, I, I think that, like I said, we've got a lot of energy. This generation can actually yeah, do something. Think, but we need to I've have. seen a lot of them 5G towers, but to be honest with you, I'm kind of like... I see some people... I know you spoke about... Really not bothered about I know, I see them. And I'm like, they're, they're, they're about... The 5G towers, fam. They're, they're about, and it's all good. I'm just a bit like... You know some of these guys, you know some of the guys that I know. Yeah. It's crazy man, it's this, you need to take iodine, you gotta get radiation poisoning. Bruv. Real all things they can't change. Yeah. So I'm like I have the conversation I have with everyone, it's like, okay, cool, if you think this and you believe this and you've seen this, what are you as an individual gonna do about it to 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 combat yeah. this? And they ain't never got the answers. Swear, yeah, they ain't never got the answers. answers. So and I also feel like who was I talking to? And he was saying to me about how conspiracist conspiracist theories theorists mm. you call them theorists yeah. they always they have a certain outlook on things where they feel like they need they get comfort from blaming these certain things. Yeah. And I and I feel like there's a, a great deal of people fall into the same category which makes them think like this. So people who are usually it's, it's never anyone who's got their shit together, who's successful, who are happy within their life yeah. in any kind of way. I feel like they're, it's always people who have got some sort of issue, have got some sort of trauma, emotional, whatever, mm. and they like to use that as an excuse. But to be honest with you, even if there is a degree in truth in any of them, mm. even if there's a de degree of truth in any of them, my thing is that, can you do something about it? Do you want to do something about it? If not, it's gonna happen anyway. But I'll keep it moving and don't let it dominate your life. No, 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 look no, back no. at it in your life. No. Be like, yeah, I tried to take down five G towers and. Bro, listen, there's 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 a lot more. And these are the same as we eat in them Russell's burgers, you know. Bro, I'm telling you, twenty five percent energy drinks and then boosts. I've said it before, from regardless if they um they're talking about these um regardless if they they they're talking about the the towers or not, you go and burn it, you go to jail. Because you're vandalising and stuff like that. That's awesome. And then they just put another one up. They just put another one up. That's what they're going to just be doing. They're just going to put another one up. The way to really combat it is just not use it. Yeah, well, they, that's, that's the thing. That's they the said, thing. Like, right, cool. These, these, these things that we're doing this thing from now, yeah? yeah. These phones, I mean, The 4G is it's taking the information of how we use it. Yeah. So what we decide to put on there is what we are giving away as information. Mm. Because I said that the other day. I watched something on Sky Television, which is connected to um, Your phone. the phone for the, uh, the Sky Go yeah, yeah. and everything like that. The same program I was watching, which was talking yeah, about the most uh, contagious thing, as soon as I went onto my YouTube, I got suggestions yeah, of this. So it's, it's, it even depends on how yeah. I'm doing So even if you're searching on Google, like yeah. you're searching on Google, for new trainers, there's exactly. going to be for new trainers coming exactly. up on the website. So That's all it is. It's mimicking my algorithm, it's, it's showing me my interests. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So with this 5G thing, all it's doing is throwing like a big boy net on us now. Mm. Do you understand know what I'm saying? A big boy net on us. And everything you start doing and where you're going and stuff. It's so it's, it's in a, yeah, exactly. So it's an invasion of privacy, but you're still actively... Giving them information. Yeah, there's the the information. Well, so, I mean, like, if I have conversations, I just put my phone on flight mode because obviously they've got access. Think about this. Think about all the apps who have got access to your microphone: WhatsApp, Shazam, um, 
anything you use voice notes for. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Uh, FaceTime. Yeah, Alexa. <laughs> I don't. I don't have Alexa. I don't that have Siri. We've, I don't we've, have that. We've, we've got Alexa in the house, but that thing has to get unplugged. I can't. No, they no, get no, some. No, no. It's and it's gone. a known fact they do actually. I heard um, they said it to the CIA and FBI and stuff. No, nah, I don't even think it goes like that. But it definitely, they have had actual recordings of people's conversations when it's there because it has to go back. I'm too proud pa- for it to to, to, to give me the answer. I'm too paranoid, bro. I won't even let her have her phone in the bedroom. Mm. I'm too paranoid because she's got Siri. I'm yeah. like, I don't trust Siri. I'm like, if you're, hey Siri, fuck you. <laughs> I'm onto you. Nobody trusts Siri. Yeah, nobody trusts Siri. Siri, Siri Alexa, Alexa, what's Siri the other one? What's, what's the, the Google answers, one? Right. Okay, Google. Nah, that I, one, don't right? know, I don't know. It's, it's, All of them. It's, it's I don't. I don't trust any of them, bro. It's I don't, I'm the sort of person who don't even trust my own shadow. You think I'm gonna trust the machine? <laughs> you know trust me. I, mean? I, I, I don't know, bro. Like, I just feel like it's too much. Like I don't need it. I can function. And then you realise as well when I went offline and I was on my burner. The only reason I pick up my phone is to look at Instagram, to look on YouTube, and when you don't have those things on there, you're kind of like, even WhatsApp to a certain degree, and it, it, when, probably when your groups aren't popping up and whatever, you've got phone calls, you've got texts, so that's it. Yeah. So I can live that simpler life, because I can just go on to that and use it. Yeah, of course. that's what we were doing before, right? Going on the laptop and looking on Google there, yeah. or whatever, so... As I said before, this... Um, I think the government are capitalising on the um, on the pandemic right now because it's giving a, a way for all of our movements, what we're interested in, to be stored through our computers, our laptops, our phones, and stuff like that. The more we do these kind of um, things, they know exactly what we're talking about. This is why it's about not to not to create no, don't create a pattern for yourself. Like I was saying before, it's about manipulating everything a little bit. But like if you're in one place for too long, let's say you're on here mm. for you come here every every day at 5 o'clock, you come in every day at 5 o'clock. When you go to your privacies and your settings, this will register on, on your maps as well. Yeah. 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 But I'm confused it. I live in two different places <laughs> at the moment. So, but yeah. so they think I'm, they they think I'm in one place, and I think I'm in another place and I turn it off. And even when I, I told you when I go in the van, yeah. put some of the addresses in there so things I live over in Wysip and Howell yeah. and all these places. Yeah, you can, you can really Man's really too really woke out here. I'm too woke. We've got some comments on there. What's yours? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's see if there are comments on there. I'm going to have a... I'm going to jump on Rob's link and come back on Rob's. There we go. Let's see. What's going on? Yes, Lucan. A couple of people joined us here. Sorry, it looks bare weird. Sorry, what have I done? There we go. Yes, welcome to all of those joining us. Um, I'm back in there. I'm going to pin this. I didn't even pin it, I'm such a donut. There we go. Um, hold on, who's that? Can you do the you can you can switch on the QA? Yeah, how'd you do it? Oh it's there. Oh fuck's sake. This is the test people, this is good. Oh no, that's just the question. How'd you put it on? Oh no, yeah. Questions from your viewers will be shown there. Yeah, yeah it's on there. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, but anyway. Fuck boys. Like all it says. Fuck the government. Bro, listen, they got no choice but to um to uh, listen to the people right now. There's another protest going on this week. You went to you went I was done. But it was cut out. I was done there. <laughs> um What it no, it's still running. Is it? Yeah, it's still running. Oh well you just had something just pop up in it. Same what? I have no idea. Oh, you spent an hour on I, I don't know, I don't know. It's probably... Well, so. anyway. Yeah, it's going to be truly unfiltered, isn't it, when it goes up? Yeah. It's going to be good. So, also, the important thing is, people, if you're not already, this is the, um... site... the thing. Let me switch this now. Um, there you go. Here we go. Um, if you're looking for us on YouTube and follow us and the rest of that, there we go. That's what you're looking for right now. That's us. All previous videos on there. We had Castle Blacks and last one. The show was out now. We've got Levi on there. Ruben Christian. Um, I did like. I don't always like our guests. Our yeah. guests are really, really. I think. Who's been your favourite? Would you say? Um. I don't know, I don't, I don't want to go 
bad and, and say somebody was a favourite. <laughs> I think um, I think Ruben. I like because you just. Can Ruben, we... Ruben had uh, a lot of. I think we had some good chemistry there. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah we had sure. a lot of. Uh, and we had some deep, there. deep combos, you know. Yeah. Especially with um, when it came to dating and romance and stuff like that. Yeah. Have you seen the show Too Hot to Handle? I was watching it, but I didn't have to, I got sidetracked with everything else. I, I just started consuming bare knowledge of what, what was going on out here. I watched two episodes, I'm not sure why I had it. But I did see the Celebrity SAS. Yeah. Would you ever do that? Huh? Would you ever do that? Would I do the Celebrity yeah. SAS? Yes. I mean, not Celebrity. Shout out to everybody. Huh? The SAS, would you do it? SAS, who I would do it if I could do it. What do you mean? I could. I, I, I would do it. I'd do it. I'd do it. I'd do it until they tell me to give me that number. Give me the number, number 12. Well, you see, the, the thing is, the, the last SAS that they had, they had a lot of people that was um, good on their fitness. Mm. So they lasted uh, oh. quite a bit. And um, I knew one of the contestants that was on there, it was, her name was Kim and everything like that. She's actually a trainer for Nike. Mm. And she got way, way into the, the, the end side of it. And it was very good. But when, when you look at some of the celebrities and stuff like that, you've got to be proper ready. I can't take people shouting at me. Oh, is it? I, I, I think Ben, on the, on the mental task, I can't, I'm not really good with people. Well, I've, I've seen the bit where they put them in the interrogation bit, you know, when they put the noise on them and they black, black out the thing and they have to stand in the stress position. Yeah, the distress, the distress, don't forget, when you get to that point though, mm. you've already been broken down. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? You've been broken down, so you've been dragged along and you've been broken down to that point. Physically, you're already torn. Because every time you go to do a task and everything like that, and you're challenging yourself to that weather, staying freezing cold temperatures, um, doing uh, the, the climbing up mountains, sliding down this, doing all of that. Yeah. By the time you get down there, you've already, the last thing you want to hear is a baby screaming in your ears. Yeah. You know I what think, I mean? I think for me it's stressing the, sounds, being blacked out, being back up again. I think the important thing to, it's easy to say this now, obviously because I'm not on it, but the important thing for me is that... Um, to uh, to remember everything passes, so even the bad stuff it passes. Yeah, I think it's just remember have that mindset of look, this is hell right now. This hurts or this is intense, but look, it's not gonna last forever. It's not gonna yeah. last forever. Yeah. And just kind of do it like that. On a lighter note, I seen that Liu Kang join us. Why go on Liu Kang? Yeah. Um, he was quite funny. He said he got in trouble with his, one of his interviews because he had a guest on his show. Yeah, and he asked her a question about something she publicised already, right? Mm -hmm. So let's say, for example, there's a news, you're a celebrity, and they really spoke about something that's happened with yeah. you in a newspaper or on a blog or whatever, and you spoke about it. He asked her about it, she won't talk about it. No. Mm -hmm. So he got a bollocking from management or something like that. Right? But to me, when I was discussing it with him, I said, that's, that's not, an, I don't understand, why, why is that an issue? Yeah, exactly. Do you know what I mean? Because you're... I don't think anyone's ever said to me, don't ask me about this. You're on my, on my show, or you're sitting on my sofa with me, or whatever it is. We're talking about your single, your project, whatever. So we will talk about that, but yeah. if I want to ask you that, I'm going to ask you that, and it's up to you. If you don't want to talk about something, it's up to you to say, look, I'd rather not talk about... And remember, I've had people from X Factor and stuff, so... I've, I've asked them to go, I will touch on X Factor, but I'm not going to make it a whole thing, but of course I'll talk about it. I yeah. can't not talk about it, it's a huge part of your career, right? Of course. How can I not? But people are just sensitive. I feel like it's up to the manager. Do you, think, do you think everybody's being too sensitive right now, though? Oh, people have always been sensitive, but I don't give a shit about anything, if I'm fair. So, if people are just going to be... Because right about now, I'm seeing a lot of um, people dig up... <laughs> I don't want to go into that. They're nobody specific, but... Obviously, because of the, the race rounds that everybody's been having and then you've got uh with the race rounds you've got thing and people are unearthing and digging up the old, uh, tweets. The old tweets old tweets so you already know with the old tweets I'm not really with you, um with the old tweets that council culture has come back again we spoke about this with so Bruce and but then. with that with that do you think people should be able to have redemption like i feel like they should if you move it's like because obviously i I mean, you got people that did blackface back then, mm -hmm. like the bow selector. Oh yeah, was the number two little Britain and everything mm -hmm. like that. But people was but, laughing at that. Yeah, I don't understand why people didn't do say anything then, because it was still an issue back then. 
Well, you know, no, like, no, it was like, now I tell you, it's not an issue back then, but it was still racist back then, in the sense of, it's still not really appropriate if you're, uh, like... Well, when Craig David tried to do that, and Mel B tried to do that, the whole nation and everybody was just like, oh no, just go along, it's, it's just a joke. So is that because... Alright, oh, right, put, 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 it, put it on terms like this. It's formation of character. It's That's like, character, you've got, like, your favourite dance or songs, mm. yeah? You've got a capable on tune called Who There. He's talking about Bun Out the Chichi and everything like that. Mm. You've got Buju Bun and that sort of thing. Now, those words were deemed appropriate to say there. Do you, as, you're, as you're a DJ, do you block those? Do you just avoid playing them songs when you go out now? Or do you just let them run? Because it still it wasn't appropriate then for some people. It definitely ain't appropriate now. Because as, as people are saying, they're blocking man coming into the country now. For them things there. But would I play it? This is the thing. So well, it still goes into it, your freedom it goes, of speech. It, no, but it goes it goes into like okay, cool. People will try. And, and also, as a DJ, surely you're not responsible. You're responsible for the music you play, sure, but you're not responsible for the music they made. Yeah, it's, it's the same thing with the R. Kelly thing. R. Kelly's made some hits, but if you disagree, or Michael Jackson, yeah. if you disagree with what they do and what they've been accused of, and that's a moral thing. It's not a a, a vibe thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, My thing is, thing. bro. Listen, as great as R. Kelly was, he's touching children. My thing with the children is, is definitely you know, mm. You won't catch me. Playing. So you've completely cut it. I don't play R. Kelly. I I don't, I didn't listen to enough R. Kelly before for it to impact me. I did. <laughs> you know what I mean? I did. Well, I'm because, still playing my you know what it is, cause I, I like my slow um sessions yeah, on yeah. the Sundays and yeah. stuff like that. So sometimes you could be playing a tune. Bruh, even on my birthday, fam, look what happens. I played the Snoop Dogg um, joint. Mm. I just said happy birthday to me. And people are just like, bro, is that what we're doing? We're playing R. Kelly out here now. And I was just like, bro, I, people I was like, playing Snoop Dogg's song. I even forgot that like, uh, my man comes towards the end. Yes, I think. I was just like, oh shit, all right, cool. No. So it's not like man saying like I'm burning records, but I'm just not actively playing playing R. Kelly because what it's like the mad thing. My kind of situation is like there, there. No, and then no, you know what it is. There's, there's, there's always, like, there's always something. Just took the man away, bro. You know what? Like, there's it's... always something in it, that, and I think that people always always have something to say. People are hypocrites anyway. So I feel like if it's not affecting you, mind your fucking business, bro. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like that's how I feel about a lot of things now. People feel a certain type of way about why I don't like it, hit that unfollow button. Don't yeah. listen to what I say or for I'm an artist, don't buy my record. Just do that. That's the yeah, best. It's like when they talk about the H and M thing and all that. Cool. People are still going back to H and M. Yeah, of course. So until you say to me, This is outrageous, I'm never spending enough enough money in H H&M, and M or, or R. Kelly's record, or this or that. Until you say that to me, you cannot say shit to me about anything, bro. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't care, I might not care about certain things, yeah. but I'm not out here advocating, like, oh, this is mad, this is, I'm not gonna, where, 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 and then still go in to do it. Like, stick yeah. by what, this is the thing that we're up on with. Everyone does love the outrage, yeah. but no one sticks with that when outrage. Right, and oh. they don't demonstrate it. So let's make a full circle back to what's happening out there. Yeah. Okay, cool. Do you think everybody's doing a lot of... Do you think the, the passion is going to die down eventually? I think so, yeah. So do you think there should either be a strategy... Well, we know there should be a strategy in place. But what do you think is the best way to go about? Because I see people scared about this virus thing and now pushing each other to get into night town yesterday. Well, so like, we just went from hypocrite, scared but... things like that to think. Now, with Black Lives Matter... We all know it's a deeper situation. Yeah, of course. But I'm just thinking people need to start redirecting their money and focus into those that are willing to step into positions yeah. to start making a change. Well, this is what I'm saying. Like, how I, how I see things, and even with, like, uh, with my dad, like my, it's really weird. Like, I'll give you a simple example. Mm. Uh, my dad used to be, like, a uh, builder, a bricklayer, right? Yeah. And whenever we've done any...